the cop. Mm -hmm. So we sponsored five families. <laughs> we took them in, got them presents. But we also bought gifts for 22 children that are at, at a church north of Montgomery County tonight that we're having a, a holiday party for. So that's why I apologize that I, I have to bold on you. Um, so Powell, Powell's been around since 1984. It was started um, um, many years ago. And what we do is we, the first thing we, we do is we help with uh, athletic programs. And I mean help, we, we, we donate money. Um, like we were just talking about baseball program. We don't donate money to select teams that go all over the country and have uniforms and buses. Uh, we look for the teams that really need it in, in our neighborhoods. Uh, so, so we support those, those groups. We'll help do cleanups with them and we'll work on ball fields and we do stuff like that. So that's our athletic support program. Uh, we also, several years ago, got into mentoring. Uh, we work with Northridge High Schools, uh, I'm sorry, Northridge Middle School and High School, uh, and we work with a couple of Dayton Public Schools. We try to work with Jefferson Township Schools, but um, they, they, they've just got some problems right now that they're trying to work on. So uh, we have mentoring programs that we, we really focus on. Um, we um, also do holiday events like I talk, just talked about. We do a large Easter egg hunt every year. We have a large fishing derby every year and we try to get out there and keep things going. I will tell you, um, one of my goals is to increase what our Police Athletic and Activities League is doing. Um, it's hard when you're not full time. It's hard when you got a bunch of volunteers putting things together. So we're gonna look at that and look at what we can do with that to maybe at least try to get a part-time director or something and really start upping our mentoring game. Um, uh, you know, I would talk, you're gonna hear about the Victory Project uh, and we're gonna to try to up our game for mentoring and stuff like that and, and, and help the community any way we can. Um, especially in a couple of our townships at the Sheriff's Office contracts with Jefferson and Harrison Township. Um, there's really nothing to do for kids, nothing. Uh, there's no community centers. The baseball fields went away. The soccer fields they don't have. So, so those, that's one of going to be one of our goals with the new administration is to is to really try to up our game there. Um, so uh, we work hard, but once again, we, we definitely want to try to get someone focused a little more because once again, when you when you got two real full time jobs, it's it's hard to plan. Uh, you know, week-long events and everything else. So uh, that's where we're at. But we're gonna we're gonna put some effort into it and, and try to get it going a little more. And what is POW? What does that stand for? Police Act. It used to be POW Police Act Athletic League, but the athletics are going more and more away. So it's now Police Athletic and Activities League. Uh, so so we do other things besides just with athletes. Uh, we used to have a full BM, uh, bicycle motocross teams and, and football teams, and we used to do all that, but the, the interest there has went away, so it's, it's more towards uh, mentoring and taking kids out of the city or out of a township that's never left their neighborhood and letting them experience some of the things that goes on around the state, so some stuff like that. So that's kind of more our focus nowadays is the activities. Right. Thank you very much. Any any questions? Thanks for having me. By the way, thanks. Thank you for coming. Thank you. We'll we'll have. Uh...